Hey guys, welcome back to Free to Play Americas. So, it's been a while since I have uh, played on this. So, I'm just quickly looking through my challenges. Get any class to level 10. Mage is pretty close, but as I say, I'm probably going to be doing that with Warlock. Uh, Major Shaman, I guess, is pushing me more towards Mage here, isn't it? Uh, three victories with any class. Priest or Warlock. There we go, that's what we want. So, having a quick glance over the deck. Last time I did an arena run, and it was mage, um, as you can probably tell by the level. This Zulok deck, I'm just going to give it a once over because it's been a while since I uh, checked up on this, as I said. So, Corruption, Flame Imp, Mortal Coil, Young Priestess, okay. So, <laughs> for some reason I went with uh, Cthulhu and Frostwolf Warlord situation. Uh, it's pushing more away from the whole... Zoo theme and more towards a sort of board control stance deck, which I don't know, it could work. We'll have to see. So let's go into a game with this deck and see how it performs, shall we? Quite clearly, I'm going to be doing this on ladder because I'm going to want to climb a bit and actually get the end of season rewards. So then, uh, let's go. Gul'dan versus. It's interesting because on the load up it says you're being matched against a player of your skill. But I'm not 100% sure what that means. <laughs> uh, I don't think I want any of those. I'm not sure whether that means uh, due to my level and how much experience I've had on this game so far, or whether it means how well I've been playing. I greet you. Why do my you greet so it's a druid. I don't think the usual rules apply. Oh, okay. Yeah, just, you know, a casual player of my skill. The guy who already has League of Explorers. Oh, really? Hmm. Interesting. Are you my master? Just casually have Cthulhu in there because, as you know, I am a new player. <laughs> and I don't know, Shattered Sun on the 2 3. Uh, or not, maybe there is a much better play here. Handle it! As you okay. I kind of want to set up for a turn 5 Frostwolf, so maybe Shattered Sun and Multi Coil next turn. He has Living Roots, come on. <laughs> I feel like the whole player of your skill thing might not be fairly matched. This way. One day I'll be a real knight. One day I will be a real knight, okay. I'll see if he commits his hero power just to give this one attack. It'd kind of be a waste here, but... We will see. Oh, really? He's going for the greedy route. And that took his whole turn. Ouch. Another raid leader. Uh, I'm going to give Shattered Sun to this, just to try and play around Swipe. There's some really weird lags. But again, as I say, it's probably just because I'm in Europe. So this guy is going to become a 7-7, seven, seven. it's fine by me. But yeah, that's one of the main reasons I didn't really want to put Hellfire in in the first place, is because it kind of counteracts my board, but we will see. I think that Warlock is my least played class out of all of them. Take a walk on the wild side. As you may have noticed, uh, on my fun decks I don't tend to play it too often. Um, do I have lethal here? 
<laughs> I definitely do know who's done that. Innovate swipe? Yeah, okay. So now I have nine, uh, twelve, fifteen. So I don't actually quite have lethal. Handle it. I think I might have actually had some demon combos, so that might have been a misplay. I don't really remember the deck too well, but I feel like keeping a demon might have been a bit better. This is a moon raid. Oh, and that is GG. I'm pretty sure. Well, Yep. Hmm, the deck seemed to perform fairly well, actually. And so close to that level up. Gul'dan versus Rexa. Let the hunt begin. Oh, I actually put Succubus in. Hmm. I saw it wasn't on uh, the blanked out on the screen, so I thought I didn't actually put it in. It's kind of debatable. At least until I have discard cards, and then I guess possibly. I was kind of wondering whether to save up gold to buy one of the stages of the adventure. And I was possibly thinking about Karazhan. Because all of the others get rotated out soon anyway, so... Okay... I'm wondering now, because he's a new player, I'm gonna go face. But I'm wondering which one of these he trades into. I feel like he might trade into the 1-1. One -one. Oh really? I was going to say, if you go face, I've got a pretty good trade against that. And if he trades, then... I have a fairly... bad time? I guess I don't really know why I played that, because if I was expecting him to trade into the 1-1, one, one, I don't really have much of a way to remove this without taking more than this damage, so I could just push completely face. I guess that's not really uh, much of a big deal. You know what? Um, I might as well trade, right? That is technically a two-drop trading with a two-drop anyway, so it is fine. It's a bit annoying that I have two discard cards in hand because it's impossible to get my hand clear so the discard doesn't trigger. I guess I just have to decide which one's more important. Uh, possibly Soulfire. Hmm. He is a hunter. So. I don't know, it's an early game hunter though, so it's hard to tell. Shadow Bolt's nice. I'm going to trade. Just because my raid leader will basically want a better board, and I don't want him to play something like Unleash the Hounds. Which he might just play anyway if he has it. 
No, okay. I sometimes feel bad against players like this. Um... Yeah, that's quite a lot of damage. I'm going to save Soulfire. Don't mess with us. I have become what I hate. <laughs> Face stacks. This is a new beginning. This will be Shadow Facer. No, I'm sorry. I won't. It sounds completely awful, doesn't it? Well I feel like he didn't really stand a chance in that game. It's sort of unfair in a way. I guess my aim is to at least get level 20. Which wouldn't be too bad. I'm just curious whether we discard Succubus or not. I guess in the end I did have an empty hand. Still haven't leveled up quite yet though. I have my gold. Merrimack. I am your nightmare. Huh. I've never heard the warlock versus warlock quote before. Um Murloc Tide Hunter. I think Young Priestess isn't too bad to keep. I could regret this decision because I'm not thinking about basic warlock cards. I guess in a way it counters flaming, but it's just terrible against Mortal Coil and Voidwalker. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Oh, right, he drew. Okay, that confused me. Are you my master? I guess I could use Corruption if he plays a big enough minion. Something like a 1-7. Which, you know, doesn't really exist anymore. Oh, he's going face. Okay. It's fine by me. This way. And again, I don't really want to overextend because of Borglas from a Warlock. This is very difficult to try and play against because of the, you just don't know what kind of cards they're going to have. Someone called it. Damn it, I can't. Well, I guess I could play Succubus. Ah, but looks like I don't really need to. Or maybe I do. Such a hard decision. But if I trade this in, I'm going to play Succubus. But if I trade this in, I'm going to play that. I'll go with this option. This And hopefully, at least, I can get Shadow Bolt off for. Yeah, well, it was much better that I didn't play this then. And I guess I'll tap. I got rid of the best card. 
And by best card, I mean it was the best one for me to get rid of, not that it was a good card. Wow, okay. That was a pretty bad one to get rid of, to be honest. Uh, okay. I was thinking about not trading just because of the play, but I guess it was a setup for dealing one damage. Because he expected me to go face and not trade. I am up. I don't know. was fairly strong. I'm in the same situation again with these discard cards. I have a Hellfire. Oh, that's not good. I got rid of Soulfire. This is a lot of damage going to my face. I need to hope for them not to have any other board clear, otherwise I'm screwed, right? Okay, so I guess they did have a mortal coil. I didn't see where they played it from in the hand, so maybe they didn't. Oh, really? Okay. I guess that kind of sets me up for not wanting to tap, which I think I might not actually do. Oh, I have to, don't I? If I if I need to win in any respects, and I'm not gonna play that because of board players. Oh wow. He's a higher level warlock than I am, I think, by that play. I don't think I have sacrificial pact, I'm not too sure. That's pretty good. I'm... Um, you know what, I'm going to draw. Crazy Alchemist is for the long game, if I want to use it on this guy. Shadow Ball. This is pretty bad, actually. I might actually lose here. Hit it very hard. You love my new recipe. You know, take candle. That's a pretty big risk to take there. Okay, I think this is game. I mean, there's not really any way I can completely clear the opponent's board. Well played. Just lost to a rank 25. <laughs> oh dear. I think I need to remove that hellfire. And there's my sacrificial pact. That was a pretty big swing, to be honest. Let's have a look. I don't think Sacrificial Pact is even that good, but it's better than Corruption. At least if I go up against another Warlock. Let's get rid of this Hellfire, because it's most of the time going to be useless. And I guess I'll add a Drain Life, because it worked fairly well for him. And yeah, basically I just need one more game with any class, get any class to level 10 and I get a card pack. So I'm pretty good. So then guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Thanks in advance and I'll speak to you all next time.